how to make money in real estate investing. That's today's video. Let's dive in. Hey everyone, I'm Clayton Morris. I'm the founder of Morris Invest. I'm a longtime real estate investor. My whole goal with this channel is to help you create passive income through owning rental real estate. That's all I do and I want to help you do it with this channel. So today we're going to talk about how do you make money in real estate investing. If you've come to this video, you're probably curious about all of the different ways to do that. And I know it can be confusing, especially if you go to a Barnes and Noble and you're looking on the shelf at different, different strategies and tactics for real estate investing, boom, your mind can explode. Uh, or not even just investing, just in general in real estate. How can I do this? How do I get started? What are all the ways I can make money in it? Well, there are four key areas that I think we should identify as to how you can make money in real estate investing. And it really comes down to a matter of personal preference and what exactly you want to achieve. And do you want to create another job for yourself? So you're probably sitting back on a Saturday afternoon watching one of those house flipping shows, you know, uh, Fixer Upper or whatever, you know, flip or flop or one of, at one of those shows. And you're thinking, oh, that's a good way for me to make money in real estate. I should try this. So that is number one. That's uh, one of the first ways to make money in real estate is flipping houses. Uh, a lot of people like to find properties at a deep discount. So whether it's a foreclosure, short sale, they buy it off market, it's vacant, they bought it at a tax sale, share of sale, uh, you know, they bought it from the, the, a local bank, they buy it from the government and it's in disrepair. Um, so you need to know what you're doing to get involved in flipping houses. There are a couple of great training courses out there uh, on house flipping. That's not something I do, but you, you need to be educated in it. You need to know, obviously, cost of materials. Uh, you need to be able to have money in the bank to, to acquire the property uh, or do, you know, borrowing money uh, for a short-term loan in order to complete that project in a short amount of time while you have a 12-month loan on the property. Uh, you need to hire great contractors. Uh, you need to know the cost of your repairs so that when you buy the property, the cost of repairs on top of that, then what's my potential profit? And is it worth me even doing the project in the first place? So uh, I work with a lot of flippers. I know a lot of flippers personally, and they're constantly stressed. <laughs> I like to go see their houses and projects and I'm always impressed by what they do. But flipping houses is not for me, but it is definitely a great money maker, but it is also transactional, meaning it's paycheck based, right? So you work on a house for six months, you sell that house, you make 40, 60, $120,000. Great. Now I got to do another house. So I know some people that do one a year. I know some people that do multiple multiple times a year. And again, it comes down to it being a paycheck. You're not really creating passive income. You're still working for that money and you need to move on to the next project in order to bring more cash into your bank account. So the first way is flipping houses or even flipping raw land. A lot of people will do that. That's one way to make money in real estate investing and it is a lot of work. If it's something you're interested in, you really need to be educated about it. Read some great books on it. Take some great training courses from people who are doing it at a high level and stick on one path. Follow one great course, get one great mentor and follow that one path until completion. Second way that you can make money in real estate is to be a realtor or a broker. Uh, my dad is a realtor, my wife is a realtor, and that is a great way, of course, to make money in real estate. You're not owning the property, you're simply representing um, a buyer or a seller, or sometimes both a buyer and a seller in a transaction, and you're selling a property, you're listing a property on the multiple listing service. You have to go to real estate school, you have to get trained, uh, and get your certification. Uh, and then you have to do continuing education hours every few years. I think it's every two years you have to do continuing education. Depends on the state that you live in. And you get registered per state. And then you go out and work for a broker. You hang your license with a broker, whether it's uh, you know Weikert Realty or Century 21 or any of those companies. And you become a real estate agent. Go out on the weekends and try to, you know, to go to open houses and you list people's properties and people pay you a percentage of the sale of the home. Uh, you're helping them sell the house, and then at the closing table, you're gonna get a percentage of that. Um, it's, uh, it's a lot of hard work, and honestly, it's not a lot of money unless you've really built a team and you've, you're doing a lot of deals on a regular basis. So real estate agents, 
definitely a way to make money in real estate, but uh, it's not investing, right? It's still a paycheck. So that's one way to make money in real estate. And the third way to make money in real estate is with wholesaling or being in between deals. Now, with uh, being a wholesale investor, you don't actually own the property and you actually, it's also still a paycheck. So you're not actually investing in real estate. What happens is you as a wholesale investor, you simply are finding people that want to sell their property uh, and you then basically get that property under contract to buy it or to then sell the contract. And you're going to assign that contract to an end buyer like the flipper that we met in step one. That flipper now is going to spend eight months rehabbing that house. So you're sort of in the middle and you'll take a finder's fee for a few thousand dollars or whatever in between the seller and the buyer. Uh, it, wholesaling can be a great way to kind of kickstart your investing journey to get some money in the bank quickly and then to start to buy rental properties. But again, it is not a, it's not passive because you have to work for it, of course. And so you're not, it's transactional again. So it's like a paycheck. You're going to have to go out there and get more paychecks, right? Once that paycheck is done, you better get out there and do another one or you're not going to have another deal coming in. So wholesale investing can take on many shapes and sizes. You can be in between a lot of different deals as almost like a finder's fee on all kinds of different real estate transactions, not just the one I described. So number three, wholesale investing. And number four, and finally, and my absolute favorite way to make money in real estate is with rental properties, buy and hold properties. If you ever go to a real estate meeting, and I go to a lot of investor meetings, you look for the old guys in the room. And I like to talk to these guys who've been doing it for a long time. And you ask them if they had to go back and do anything over again, what would they do differently? And they'll look at each other and they'll look back at you. And I guarantee the answer that they'll give you is, I wish I wouldn't have sold those properties. I wish I would have held on to more properties. Because holding real estate for the benefit of increasing my net worth and creating cash flow is the ultimate game in real estate. That's why I do what I do. That's why I've done all of those other things. I, I have flipped a few houses back in the day. I have done a lot of wholesaling, but it all led me to the main area of focus, which is holding real estate for the benefit of cash flow. Holding multiple properties, imagine holding 10, 20, 30 rental properties that are all producing seven, eight, nine hundred thousand dollars a month in cash flow. See how that looks, right? Maybe twenty-five thousand dollars a month, thirty thousand dollars a month in cash flow from tenants who are living in my properties. Not only that, I'm getting that cash flow every month from those tenants. I've increased my net worth by adding fifty thousand dollar home to my personal net worth. That's what rich people focus on, is net worth. Now I've got the net worth, I've got the cash flow, and third and most importantly, well not third and most importantly, but third on this list, taxes. Absolutely, because I'm purchasing rental properties in an LLC or another legal entity, as a business purchase, I then get to leverage those purchases against my taxes and my overall tax burden is shattered because of rental real estate. So that paycheck that I get from my nine to five job is now offset by my rental properties in my business entity that purchased them. It's a triumvirate. And there's many, many other reasons why I love buy and hold real estate investing. But just imagine being able to go on vacation with your family and while you're on vacation, on the first of the month, you check your bank account and you suddenly received eight, nine, ten thousand dollars in rent checks while you're sitting there on the beach with your family at Disney World or something. That's what happened to me recently. I was on vacation in Scotland with my family and we were there at the time of the month when our rent checks would hit. And I opened up my bank account and I said to my wife, this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. Creating passive income so we can do this with our lives. So those are the four main ways, the four biggest ways, I think, to make money in real estate. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. And if you want more of an education on rental real estate, that's what we do here on this channel. So we've got tons of great resources and videos on helping you 
stake a claim, get out there and start investing in real estate. Everything from learning what ROI means, everything from uh, how you can save on your taxes, how to get private money, all of those things uh, we teach here on this channel. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, just a little thought balloon over there, just hit that little button there to subscribe and you become a member of our channel for free. And again, we publish videos multiple times a week here on the channel, so we'd love for you to dive in and really get educated. Most importantly, I just want you to get out there and take action and become a real estate investor. It's the best way. We'll see you back here next time, everyone.